Hey neighbor, it's good to see you again. It's me, and I'm back with a little bit of advice from me to you. Don't ever, under any circumstances, delete your old artwork. It's different if you want to quit the art piece. You want to abandon it. But to fully, like, get rid of it, delete it, is just... It's bad for it's bad for you. It's bad for you. As a person who uh, was traditional and moved to digital, I ripped out so many pages of my sketchbooks that you would not believe how little my sketchbooks uh, like have inside of them. You know, like I have a 200 page book that maybe has like 15 pages in it because I've ripped all of them out. And it was just mostly me wasting paper and being upset with myself so the thing is, is that deleting your work is effectively removing your journey and the journey for the work is never ending. I've been doing art my whole life and I do actually have an artwork from when I was a child that my parents laminated and now I actually have it on my fridge. When you're like a teen and you start becoming your own person and art tends to like either stick with you or disappear from your hobbies. If you keep up, some of you were probably disgusted by your old art and want to never let it see the light of day, but what about you now? You know, if you toss it or delete it, how are you going to remember it? How are you going to know that you improved? You have no proof you improved. And I'm going to tell you right now, not a single person is going to believe you if you just said you just started because no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Because people love to see people's old artwork because like if you look at Lois's old artwork oh my god like like she was always good but if you look at her artwork from like the early 2000s I'm talking like I think she has artwork from 2002 and it's 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 something it it's something <laughs> the you that was there before like try to think about you before the artist you were before him. now now imagine you just finished this piece and you're like, oh my God, this is the best piece. This is, I worked so hard on this. I worked 40 hours on this work. And then you now is like, that's trash. I'm going to throw it away. The old you would be hurt by that because you did so much work. And I know that people don't have an attachment to things. And that's totally fine if you have attachments to things. But when it comes to your art, it takes so long to become good that I feel throwing away your artwork and trying not to remember that you ever had the ugly phase of your artwork is I feel like it'll create it, it creates a different person who is like afraid that they made mistakes and that's just I, I feel like every artist needs a little bit of humbling when they've gotten too good you know and uh, most of the big artists they keep all of their old art because they want to look back on it and look at it and see how good they've gotten. And I think everyone should keep it. Just keep your work. Don't delete it. And I mean, it's your life's work. It's a culmination of like who you were back then. Like if you saw some of my artwork and I will post some of them right here, I'll post like three different artworks that you can behold and cringe at. I'm not going to tell you from how long ago they were, but just know that they were not done in Photoshop. I believe one of these is pencil and then put in another program Other, either way they are what they are and even if you only do character design like what if you want to remake your new design like wouldn't that be great and what if isn't someone is inspired by your old work like there's this girl that i know her name is stephanie and she was my uncle's uh girlfriend's daughter she was like several years and she was like six when I was like 16, I think, or, or no, 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 that's wrong. She was, she was 12 when I was 16. Sorry. She was just really little and she was inspired by my artwork, inspired by who I was as a person. And I was like, I was not someone that I would aspire to as at 16, but she is. And, you know, I know that she went out to uh, do video in California for a little bit and she's an artist too inspired by just meeting me like uh, it, it's stuff like that you know and think about how many people might have been inspired by your work I mean I still have people who've kept my artwork 
from when I was in high school because I used to like draw Sonic characters and I drew all my friends as Sonic characters. And if it's social media that's getting you down de and deleting your Instagrams or Twitter, stop it. Stop it. It's not the amount of likes or anything that gets you commissions. It's an it's about the quality of your work. It's one thing if you're archiving your work and removing it from an online platform, only your recent work is available, but deleting the work altogether is something completely different. I think that, you know, enjoy the process, the journey. And I know a lot of you guys have a lot of feelings about this and those feelings are fine, but knowing what to do with those feelings is what matters. As artists, all of us are growing in our own ways and I hope that you are respecting the former artists that you were and as well as the new artist you are now. And everyone has an ugly face. Just embrace it. That's all I have time for today. I will upload videos on Wednesday. Please subscribe and uh, follow my Instagram if you want. I do have a Discord too. But thanks for hanging out guys. Later days.